Hello everybody! So today I just wanted to do a kind of chatty get ready with me. Uh, I haven't done one in a second and whenever life gets a little bit crazy and I don't get a chance to film for a second, I like just kind of bringing us back with chatty get ready with me. It's just so that way we can, you know, just kind of talk about life, what life kind of brought to us. I am exhausted. I just came back from snowboarding today and pardon my French but my ass is destroyed. It hurts so bad. Um, I'm so tired. I have had one hell of a week and I have new makeup to play with. So I'm just going to kind of tell you about my week and play with some new makeup products. I have new products from Au Naturel and from Wet n Wild to play with. I asked you guys on Snapchat if you guys wanted to see me play with new Wet n Wild first or me do a look with the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette first and you all said Wet n Wild but this is still coming because I did still get requests for this pretty little thing. Um, but yeah, we're going to uh, just start putting on makeup and chat while we do it. The first couple things, these are really the only things I have to try from Eau Natural, but I have a foundation and a concealer that I am very, very intrigued by. I have their cream foundation in the shade Porcelain, and I have their cream concealer in the shade Ecru. ECRU. Um, I know these colors aren't going to be right for me. It was actually really, really hard. These products were sent to me, but it was really, really hard to tell what shade I would be um, from their website. So we will see. Um, I've usually never liked stick foundations, but we're gonna give her a go. So I'm just gonna, just gonna go in and do it. Oh, this feels weird. Okay, I'm just gonna start off with that and then blend it in. So this week, a lot of you guys know I work for Zoomies, and this week was an event called 100K, which is basically a giant party for the top salespeople in the company. They top, they, they take the top 800, around 800 salespeople in the company to Keystone, Colorado, and it's literally a giant party. So I did that from Monday to Wednesday. Wednesday was a full travel day. I traveled for 12 hours, a full 12 hours, even though the flight from Denver to where I live should have only been two hours, but you know how it goes when you travel. Um, I, it was amazing. I got to Keystone, was feeling good. The first night was a little bit of a party, but nothing too crazy. Uh, went to bed, woke up with pretty decent altitude sickness, which was not fun. Um, and then the next night was, or the next day was snowboarding, which I didn't go to because of the altitude sickness. Oh, I have a piece of bean in my teeth. That's so cute. <laughs> mm, I'm a gem, guys. I'm honestly a gem. Um, and then the second night was the, like, giant celebration where they celebrate the top 40 salespeople in the company. You get to meet, like, a ton of brand owners. The owner of Obey, the owner of Rip and Dip, the owner of Broken Promises. Like, all of the brand owners were there. Pro skaters were there. I got to meet some of my favorite pro skaters. And it was just this, like, like Wee Man from Jackass was there. It was just this, like, insane party. Talk about makeup for a second. This feels like Play-Doh on the skin. Like, this does not feel very nice on the skin. It looks really pretty, though. I was very concerned because when I started blending it out, it felt like it wasn't blending out. It doesn't look bad. The color's a little off. It's a little too pale for me. We're going to move on to the concealer while I'm chatting. This is, again, the cream conceal concealer from Eau Naturel. Oh... Um, but yeah, it was just, it was crazy and like, even the second night of the party I still wasn't feeling too hot. I was just exhausted and like my stomach was just off. So I wish I could have like stayed and had a little bit more fun, but it was still absolutely amazing. Zoomies is unlike any company I've ever worked for and I have worked for a lot of retail companies. Probably a lot of your favorite retail companies I have worked for. I have really, really hopped around in retail and Zoomies is just like honestly unbelievable. So that was really, really cool. This concealer is not blending in. <laughs> um, but that was really, really cool, but really, really exhausting. Like it was literally nonstop two day party followed by a full 12 hour day of traveling. I got back and I still like, I just brought a bug home. I still was, have been really sick over the weekend. And then David and I had had plans to go snowboarding today, and I just went anyways. And now I'm just, like, honestly exhausted. This doesn't look the best. Like, it finally blended in. I feel like this is one of those foundations where, like, 
my natural oils will kind of seep through and like make it look a little bit better but that concealer did almost nothing for me at all the foundation is really doing nothing for me I'm just gonna add a little bit of my ColourPop no filter concealer even though I don't oh that's so dark okay it's only dark I'm gonna add a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape it's only dark because the foundation is so light. I'm just gonna add a little bit of sharp tart shape tape. Ooh, <laughs> this is this base is a disaster. I really want to love and try some like natural makeup companies, but a lot of the like natural makeup companies, their products just don't work for me. If you guys have a favorite natural makeup company, let me know down below. Anyways, I'm going to set my under eyes real quick. I'm going to use my e.l.f. finishing powder. So, yeah, I really haven't had a day off in a solid week. I mean, today was my first day off, but I went snowboarding, which was totally, you know, I'm glad I did because it was really fun. Oh, God, this, can, this powder is too dark for this foundation. <laughs> this is a mess. Alrighty, we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Oh no, this does not, this stuff does not powder well. Oh God. Oh, I don't think you guys are gonna be able to tell, but my under eyes are like yellow and the rest of my face is like paper white. <laughs> this is fine. I forgot where my train of thought was. Yeah, so basically I haven't had a solid day off until today and I miss filming. I did film one video recently that will actually be up by the time this video is up. I collaborated collaborated with Alternative Press and put a um, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge makeup tutorial on their channel. Um, so that was super, super exciting. I will have that linked down below for you guys. This foundation really takes a lot to powder down, but I think that was the last video that I filmed and that was like a week and a half ago and I just had all sorts of problems with my editor and like I thought I wasn't going to be able to like get it to them in time it was stressful but I finally got it it turned out pretty well and I'm really excited about it and like collaborating with alternative press is just like every emo kids dream you know what I mean so I was just like over the moon ecstatic but I haven't filmed, filmed a video for my channel in a hot minutes so we're going to take a break from the face and move on to eyes because I have these new eyeshadow palettes from Wet n Wild. I have the new and improved Comfort Zone palette and then I have the Nude Awakening palette. I really want that like peach one and there's another one that I really want but these were just the only two that my Fred Meyer had in stock. I also, I, uh, I should have picked up the foundation. You all have to let me know. Have you tried the foundation? Because every review that I see of that foundation is it's like natural buildable coverage, dewy finish, which are all words that I stay far away from when it comes to foundation. I like medium to full coverage, matte finish, like I the foundation like looks pretty when I see people use it, but I just don't know if it's going to be right for my skin type. So if you have a similar, you know, skin type to me, if you have oily skin, like a more full coverage, and if you've tried that foundation, let me know down below. Like, do I still need to try it? Because it's like $9. That's kind of expensive for Wet n Wild foundation. So let me know, but I have other Wet n Wild products that are new to try anyways. So I'm pretty much just going to hop between palettes here. I think I'm mostly going to use this Comfort Zone palette because honestly, oh, come on two different seals come on one wild but because honestly these two colors do things to me that I haven't had done to me in a very long time like these two colors speak to me in a way that I think only Long Island medium would be able to interpret like these two colors are just magical like this oh so I'm going to mostly use this one, but I do I do really really enjoy this kind of burgundy situation happening And I might pick a lid color out of here just because I want to keep it kind of neutral I don't want to mess with any of the greens or blues in the comfort zone palette I'm really I also picked up the single shadow in Panther because I had heard Amazing things about the old single shadow in Panther like everybody said it was such a good black shadow And I'm honestly I struggle to find a really really good black shadow at the drugstore um, Like the one from the Milani palettes is good, but I want something like fantastic. So let's stop rambling I am rambling so much. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to dip into this transition shade in the comfort zone palette. I'm going to blend that through my crease. I have no idea 
what I'm going to do with my makeup today. I know what lipstick I'm going to use. I might do a halo eye. Why not? So, I'm just going to pop that in the inner and outer corner. This color is beautiful. There's a little bit of kick up, but nothing, nothing too crazy. They're building amazingly. Honestly, usually drugstore eyeshadow, like not affordable eyeshadow, but drugstore eyeshadow, I just like, I try to make work and sometimes I do, but like I just prefer higher end eyeshadow. I said it. I said it. Besides like Makeup Geek, but Makeup Geek still is kind of expensive and they're like, their prices are definitely getting up there. Um, I'm just blending this in my inner and outer corner and through the crease. Nothing too crazy. This is going to be a rambly video. Y'all better be ready. I'm going to take this on my lower lash line. Um, but I just prefer higher end eyeshadow. I just feel like I have to work a lot harder at getting a blended seamless look with drugstore eyeshadow. Like you can definitely do it 110% but I just feel like I have to work harder and I'm a lazy ass bitch so oh but these are amazing like this is seriously if you could tell me that I just dipped into a Makeup Geek shade and I would believe it or like a ColourPop shade see like Makeup Geek and ColourPop are both two affordable brands of eyeshadow that I feel like I don't have to work hard at but like drugstore like straight from the drugstore I don't know man I just haven't had one that would just like wows me you know okay then I'm going to take this oh such a pretty like burgundy brown shade. I'm going to take this on Delium Tools Small Tapered Blending and I'm just going to, oh yes! I'm just going to pop this, focus this in the inner and outer corner. I'm going to really kind of buff it out. Ooh, this is so pretty. Like a lot of people like the e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes. Like I've used them in tutorials and again I've gotten them to work but like they're not something that I would like I would be like oh my god like you don't need anything else like I'm like nah you kinda have to work at these I don't want to speak too soon but these shadows this reminds me a lot of Makeup Geeks if Makeup Geek mixed Bitten and Cocoa Bear together this is kinda the shade that it's giving me it's so pretty I'm gonna blend that on my lower lash line in my Dead Girl Glam fashion this is so pretty the only thing is this color isn't as punchy as I want it to be. It's still really beautiful. It's still really pigmented, but I just wish it had that extra like oomph of color, you know? This is gonna be a messy ass look. I am exhausted. We're just slapping on makeup at this point. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take this color on my lower lash line and then I'm gonna take Panther and deepen up this area and see how see how it works. I'm very, very excited for this eyeshadow. I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush and a little bit of Panther. This is a uh, made with a lot of kick up. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm just going to take this through the outer corner. Usually my problem with drugstore black eyeshadow is that it's not very pigmented and then even if it is pigmented, it blends away and gets patchy. This one is pigmented. It's blending away slightly, but not nearly as bad. Like this is so far definitely one of the best black shadows. I'm super excited. And then I'm going to pop it in the inner corner. So basically I'm comparing this to the black from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette because that is my favorite black of all time. And I will say it's not as dark straight away, but I don't necessarily mind that because sometimes blacks that are dark straight away can be very, very hard to work with, like the black from any Urban Decay palette. This one is nice and pigmented, but still easy to work with. I'm stoked. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this pur 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 burgundy, burgundy, this burgundy shade from the, what are you, the Nude Awakening palette. And I'm just going to use that to kind of buff out the black even farther. Y'all, these are stunning. What the hell? My base does not look very good, though. I'm not very hyped on the base. It just looks cakey and doesn't have good coverage. Okay, then we're going to take that burgundy shade from the Nude Awakening palette and just buff it on my lower lash line with just a flat shader brush. Here's the true test if the shimmers are good. So I'm going to take this pink from, let's see. I'm going to take this pink from the Nude Awakening palette. Let's just see what you're about. Mm, let's see. Oh, it's a little... It's 
a little flaky. Okay, it's pretty. It's a little like chunky. Like they're soft, but just like a little bit, a little bit chunky. I'm not like mad, but I'm not like as impressed as I am with the mattes. So we're going to go in with a flat brush. This drawer has just been open the whole time. Oh, this is, it has my new makeup in here. So we're just gonna leave that open. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist and wet down my brush. And then I'm gonna take the shade next to it, which is more of a like true kind of champagne-y color. And we're gonna pick some of that up. That's more, that's more what I'm looking for. I don't mind having to wet sh shimmer shadows because even if they're really good shimmer shadows, I wet them anyways. So if a shimmer shadow only performs well wet, I'm not mad. Like, I'll take it. Pretty basic look, but like, I don't know. I think it's cute. I'm really excited. Okay, I really want to put some face makeup on right now, like, because my base looks so nasty that if I have to look for it for another five minutes, I'm going to go crazy. So we're going to put on some, like, bronzer. For bronzer, I'm going to take my Tarte Pro Glow to go, and I'm just going to take this Sculpt shade. What is some new makeup that I have to try? I have been itching to place a Sephora order. Like, very, very itchy to place a Sephora order. What else are you all like, I want her to try that because I don't want to spend my money on it yet. What do I need to spend my money on? Let me know. I'm going to take a little bit down the sides of my nose. Like, the nose is a true test of a foundation. My nose looks so crusty and musty. Like, I know I'm sick. I know my nose is crusty. But, like, a foundation better not, like, emphasize the fact that my nose is crusty. You know what I mean? I'm going to save it with one of my new favorite techniques of life. I take this tiny, tiny little Sigma brush. This is the Sigma E36. Don't just buy this brush to do this because that's insane. Unless you, like, are loaded and you just want to blow your money on that. Just find any tiny pencil brush. I'm going to take the shade Glow from the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlighting Palette on that and we're going to highlight our nose with this. And what I do is I hit the bridge of my nose right there. Like, what? I saw Nikki Tutorials do this, and she was like, everybody asks if I had a nose, if I had a nose job. And I'm like, okay, like, I don't need that. Like, whatever, my nose is fine. And then I did it, and it just, like, elongates my face. I don't know what it is about it, but I'm obsessed, and I just think it looks so cool. So we're going to stop there because I do have another highlight to use, but it's very pink, and I didn't want a pink nose highlight. I'm super excited about these new Wet n Wild Highlighting Glow Powders, but this is in the shade Botanic Dream, if I can get it open. It's like this, like, beautiful, like, kind of, kind of prismatic pink shade. So I'm going to take that on my Delium Tools Large Tapered Blending Brush. I think this is an eye brush, but I've been loving it for highlight. And we're just going to dust some of that on our cheeks. Oh, this isn't like, I thought it was going to be a little bit crazy of a highlight, but it's actually kind of tame. Hmm. Mm. I'm a little underwhelmed, to be honest. I think it's because it's competing with the nose highlight, and the nose highlight is just like insane. But this is a little bit lackluster, honestly. I don't know, do you guys have another color of these that you're like, that like blinds you? But like this isn't very smooth, it's not like sparkly which I, I enjoy. I'm gonna go back into this because this is just my favorite thing ever. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of glow. And we're just going to, see, just like, oh. Honestly, my makeup looks a hot mess right now, but I, I don't care. Um, I think I'm gonna set, oh my gosh, this foundation is creasing in my smile lines already. What the hell, that never happens. So I have this blush by Eau Naturel. It's in the shade Gilded, oh. blush just hit me in the face and then jumped into my trash can. This shade is in Gilded Sunset. It's their powder blush and I just don't understand this packaging at all. It's in like a pump and it like squeezes out but I just like I've tried just squeezing it straight onto my brush. I've tried just squeezing it onto my hand and picking it up from my hand but no matter what I do I cannot get an even application at all. So we're gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it on this Delium Tools Tapered Highlighting Brush, which I use for blush all the time. I'm going to spray onto the brush and just like, 
Oh, I should have done that over there because now there's blush everywhere. But do you see how it just kind of picks up like very heavily in one spot? I'm just going to tap some off. Just brush it. See, and then it just catches onto one spot super heavily. Like, like now it's just like super heavy right there. I'm just going to take whatever's left. It is like a really pretty color, but like this packaging is just, I don't understand it. I don't get it. Moving on, now let's set our face. Hopefully that will kind of calm down this mess of a base that we have. Okay, we're going to move on to brows. I have a new brow product from Wet n Wild. This is probably not going to be the right color, but yeah, girl, don't care. This is the Retractable Brow Pencil. I got the shade Dark Brown, which is the darkest shade that I could find. And this looked like an Anastasia Brow Definer too. So we're going to give her we're going to give her the old college try. I'm just going to bend the spoolie cuz I've been really into bent spoolies lately. She's a short little spoolie, spoolie but it's okay. We like spoolies of all shapes and sizes here on my channel. We don't discriminate. Body positivity, always. So we're going to fill in our brows with this guy. This is the same situation as like the brow definer where it's like, like a triangular pencil thing. So I'm just going to uh, just fill in my brows real quick. Okay, straight away this is very waxy and like pigmented but not at the same time. This is also a decently warm color. Okay, whoa, that used a lot of product. This kind of made my eyebrow hairs look like pubes. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's kind of nice because they look like a bushy, but they're, it's not giving me enough definition. I'm going to go fill in my other eyebrow real quick off camera so that we don't spend another 10 minutes talking about an eyebrow thing, and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll, we will regroup. Okay, so my thoughts on the brow pencil. This is a pretty warm brown so I mean I personally don't like this color on me with black hair I like cool tone I like dark um, from afar my brows don't look bad um, but they just look I don't know I'm just maybe it's just different from what I'm used to but I'm just like not super into it I think if you already have a decent amount of brow hair and you just need something to like give yourself definition and just kind of fill in the gaps, I think you'll really like this because it is nice and waxy. It is a little bit soft of a formula, which kind of makes it so you can't get as like defined of a line as I would like. So it's not for me, but I don't think it's not for anybody. You know what I mean? It's very like, it's like pigmented, but not like you do kind of have to build it up and like I just can't get like super defined lines the color is just driving me nuts um so that's where I am with that not I wouldn't say it's a bad product but I would say if you are like me who has sparse brows likes bold brows and likes very carved out brows this is not the tool for you but it's not like a bad tool the family over at steely style sent me a new stylist liner thank god because i have been out for a hot minute so i'm just going to rip into this new stylus and i'm just going to give myself a little bit of liner nothing too crazy so i'm basically just going to line my upper lash line oh there's nothing like a new stylus liner yes Okay, last thing are the lips. Now I got two new liquid lipsticks. I got the new Liquid Cat Suit. This is the metallic one in the shade Satin Sheets. Now I had gotten a very, very, very similar color from like one of their weird lines. It didn't say it was a liquid lip. I don't know, and it just wasn't that pigmented, but I was obsessed with the color because honestly, this looks like Makeup Geek's hologram pigment. Y'all know I'm obsessed with colors like this. Oh, dude. Do you even see it? Well, uh, that was very underwhelming. This might be a nice, like, kind of lip topper, but honestly, do you guys even see that? Let me... Like... What? What? What's happening? Okay, well, we're just going to... These are both liquid cat suit. Make a lot of liquid cat suits. I don't know what the fuck happened with this one. Whatever, we're just going to move on. This shade, though, I saw this shade and I about crap my pants. This is the shade Rebel Rose, which I'm pretty sure was a, like, singular lipstick. One of the Mega Last lipsticks. I love this color. I think it's so pretty. So, my lips are chapped to hell, but we're going to apply this liquid lipstick. This color is just, like, so pretty. 
It's really similar to my lip color, actually. It's like a Your Lips But Better sort of color. All right, I normally don't go for this, like, rosy of a nude, but I'm really into it, especially with the eyes. I think it goes really, really nicely with the eyes. What do you all think? Um, but I'm going to go on some lashes real quick, and then we will be back to just kind of finish up the whole video. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> standing up hurts. Oh, bad. Okay, so this is the completed look. I just popped on some Vegas Nay. I I don't remember what these are called, but they're the Vegas Nay Allure lashes. I'll try to find them, and I'll have them listed down below as well as everything else. I, if I don't look too closely, I really like this makeup. I think it's nice and just kind of good every day. Still glam, still a little bit grungy with like a lower lash line smoke. I love this lip color. I feel like this isn't a lip color that y'all see me normally in, but it's still it's still a nice lip color. I'm into it. I honestly can't wait to take this face makeup off because it is it's crusty musty. But overall, to just kind of rapid fire through the products, really like the liquid lipstick. Don't like this one. I don't. I didn't even want to put this on my lips. I I'm going to try this over a nude lip and see if that does anything to kind of like add something. But. Mm -mm. Um, this one was a little bit, like, it's there. She's pretty, but, like, I don't know. What do you guys think of these? Are th I thought they were going to be way more pigmented. Like, the one that I have, like, this one in Precious Petals is, like, so crazy pigmented. And I feel like that one was a little bit lackluster. I'm so hyped on these little eyeshadow palettes. Honestly, you guys, I mean it when I say that, like, a lot of my drugstore eyeshadow palettes, I'll try them and I'll pull them out for drugstore looks and I'll be able to get looks out of them, but they're not anything that I get excited about. But these I am actually really, really excited about. I mean, this is an impressive amount of pigment for how cheap these are. I know the wet, the new Wet n Wild Comfort Zone, it says this one is vegan. The Nude Awakening one does not say it's vegan. If they are vegan, they will have a little V at the end, so if you're a vegan consumer, awesome awesome for wet and wild to do this little black eyeshadow i want to try it more but it is very very impressive and this is like a dollar and this one is vegan as well um let's see um this cream foundation and cream concealer mm, i don't i don't know uh mm, i don't know have you guys tried these do you guys like these i might still give the concealer a go a couple more times but this foundation just feels heavy and looks cakey on my skin and just didn't do anything for my skin like it's really showing up all my texture and my little little pimples that i have so i'm just gonna set those aside i'm not really a big fan um the blush again just put it in a little pot packaging with a little sifter i feel like that would be so much better because then we could kind of dip our brush into it and get it evenly on the brush and then but like that spray thing what? Ooh, no. So anyways, I hope you all, oh, and the brows. The brows, again, I don't think are for me, but I don't think it's a bad product. Again, I think if you already have pretty full brows and you just want to like fill in little hairs and like make some definition, I think you'll really like it. But if you need a lot of definition, I don't think this is going to be for you. I also wish they had a darker cooler toned color but that's okay you live and you learn and you buy the makeup so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this like all over the place stupidly chatty get ready with me um please comment down below what makeup i need to put into my sephora slash ulta slash whatever cart amazon whatever tell me what makeup that i need to buy and i will buy it hopefully i love you guys so 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 much thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video Bye. You have to join forces. <laughs>